according to the scriptures, if you're a so-called black man, right? That's, that's what you claim to be? That's who the world taught you who you are, right? But is that correct according to God? Let me ask you that. You don't know? Is is black in the in the Bible as a nationality? It's not, right? Israelite. Our people, we are God's chosen people. Right. Right? We are his people. We are his children. Right? But the nations, they call us black. They call us African Americans. They call us everything but what God told us who we are. Right? So we, we start to act like, right? Um, we start to act black. We start to act like niggas. Right? Nigga is a, a, a byword. That's not who we really are. But let's get that in the Bible. Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. So you hear that? We shall become an astonishment. All right? That, that's, that means an amazement, right, to these other nations. We are an amazement to them. Why? They brought us over here as what? Brother Marcel, right? As slaves. Right. Right? And, and they took away our what? They took away everything, our heritage. They took our, took away our roots, right? They took away our traditions, our high holy days, right? And then they gave us theirs. For instance, 4th of July. Is, does that have anything to do with us, 4th of July? I'm asking anybody out here. So why did we celebrate it? It has nothing to do with us. Why are we still celebrating another nation's independence when we were in slavery? Wake them up. Why do we do those things? Because we have become an astonishment. That is amazing. They broke us as a people. We are broken. We are broken people. You, you don't know, just go look at our communities. We are messed up. Our people strung out on drugs. Our people selling drugs to one another. We don't care about each other. We beefing with each other. You got the Bloods versus the Crips. Why is, why is it these things happening to us as a people? It's because we are, we are in amazement. We are astonishment. We are cursed by God. And God said these things will happen to us because we broke his commandments. We got to come out of this, this system. We got to come out of America because that's what's killing us. Come out of her ways. Let's talk about her sins. Come out of sin. Read on. Verse 45. Uh-huh. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee uh -huh. and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Till we be destroyed. We are we are in that state right now. We are destroyed as a people. We are here, our sisters out here half naked. Is that good according to God? If, if, God, if Christ came back right now and he see how our people are living out here, right? Got, got the men dressing out of order. You're supposed to have a shirt on my brother. That's according to scripture, that's immodesty. Right. Along with our sisters out here, you know, showing they, they rear ends, showing they breast. That's not good according to God. If Christ came back, he's seen us like that. Is he is he going to be happy? Nah, he's going to be furious. He's already furious. But he's given us time as a people to wake up, time to come out of that stuff. Right? Brother Marcel, listen up, bro, because this is real life. Right now, everything's cool. Right now, we out here having a good time, but it's not going to be like that forever. You got to understand that. Read on. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. To keep his commandments. To do what? To keep his commandments. So guess what? We broke God's commandments as a people. God said, okay, all right. I'm going to let another nation come take you as a people. They're going to break y'all physically first. That's, that's slavery. That's the chains. That's the shackles. That's the whipping. Right? They're going to break off physically first and then mentally. Read on. And his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. And now these curses are on us for a sign and for a wonder. Right? For a sign. What does this sign do? What's your name, bro? Marcel. So two Marcels? Okay. All right. So brother Marcel. So what does a, shine, a sign do? Points you in a direction. Exactly. It, it directs you. Right. It shows you something, right? God says these curses shall be upon us for a sign to show you something. Show you what? Show you who you are according to the Bible. Right. Right? We broke God's commandments. God said to my chosen people, they're going to go into slavery. 
They're gonna experience all these bad things that I call curses. And guess what? We living that out today. Right. Game banging. Guess what? That's a curse. Right? Whoremongering out here. That's a curse. Our men out here whoring out our sisters. That's not a good thing. That's the only thing we think about today. Right. That's the only thing we care about. Extorting each other out. That's the only thing we care about. That's a selfish spirit and mentality. That's a curse on our people. Read on. And his statutes, which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign Jump and for verse, a wonder. Jump to verse 48. Watch this. Watch this. What's your name, bro? Uh, Jay Leak. Jay Leak. Jay Leak, Marcel, uh, Marcel, and Marcel. All right? Verse 48. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. So, so let me ask y'all a question. Did we serve our enemies over here? Did we serve our enemies? Who, who brought us over here to the land of America? Who did? So-called white man, right? God said that would happen to us because we broke his commandments. Did y'all know that? This is why we need to listen up, know who we are. This is extremely important for us because Christ is coming back. He's coming, he's coming back to redeem his people. And if you ain't right, guess what? He ain't coming back for you. Now that it's an individual, but he's coming back for the, the nation that come back to his commandments. Read on. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So we serve thy enemies, the so-called white man, right? And God sent them against us because of our disobedience. You understand? We broke God's commandments. God said, all right, I'm going to send the so-called white man against y'all. Right. Y'all disobedient. Y'all rebellious. Y'all are stiff necked I'm going to send this other nation who hate y'all. He gonna come devour y'all up. He gonna come pollute y'all land. He gonna take y'all to his land and do God knows what. We know now, cause we know history, right? We know. In hunger and, and, hunger. and in thirst. So God says, you gonna serve them same people in hunger. And we gotta do that today. How do we do that today? Serve a so-called white man in hunger. How do we do that? We'll work, right? We're not supposed to be working for these other nations. That's not something God set up for, for to be our purpose when he created us. We supposed to be ruling the whole earth. Right. That's that's your purpose. Y'all out here at the beach on your day off. Tomorrow, you, you got to go back to work, right? You got to go back to work tomorrow, back to slavery. Right. When you're supposed to be ruling the whole earth. That's not right. That's out of order. Come back to God. God said, hey, you don't got to do none of that if you come back to my commandments, right? Read on. And in thirst. And in thirst. For water. Right? For, 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 read on. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. For cl uh, clothing. Read on. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. Anything you can think of. Right? Birth certificate. Death uh, certificate. Right? Your ID card. Anything you can think of to, to buy, to purchase. You have to work for your enemies in order to attain. What is nature? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.